who's a good boy? You are! Now that you're not a psychotic monster anymore. Welcome back to Cruise Control! Uh, last time, we finally got our full party together. Rose is with us, Dezel's with us, and he's kind of a dick. What do you want, Dezel? What? No, well, I, I mean, uh, not really. Just... Just what? I, uh... I kind of like having you and Rose around. Aww. What? What the hell are you getting at? I mean, I used to think we were the only group of humans in Seraphim who traveled together. It used to be quite a common affair. Even if people couldn't see us, couldn't hear our voices, they could feel us by their side. Together we laughed. Together we cried. Weren't all of the scattered bones like that? Exactly. And so that's why... Hey. Man, Dezel, you... We may be working you're a bit emo, aren't you? But if you get in the way of what I need to do, there will be problems. Shepard or no. What's with the attitude, man? I'm just a friendly guy. I'm your buddy. Fuck you. I will have my revenge no matter what it takes. You better believe it. Yeah, fuck you. Uh, I don't lie on Rose over there. I'm gonna talk to them last. Edna, what do you have to say about all this? What? That girl, Rose, she conducts way too much power. I was able to enact the Armatus and control her body even when she was completely zonked out. What do you mean? She's far too used to the power of the Seraphim. It's probably because dezel has been secretly interfering from the sidelines for so long. He must have manipulated her on multiple occasions while she was asleep or unconscious. Ooh, Dazzle, what are that you doing? Case, there'd be no real explanation for why such power flows through her. So Dazzle used Rose to his own ends time and time again? Just to get his revenge? And just as he was hoping, Rose had the ability to enact the Armatus. Yeah, what's with that anyway? If she loses consciousness, she can be manipulated freely. He's crafted the ideal vessel out of her. Keep that in mind. Okay. Yeah, that's not good. I do not trust this man at all. You hear that? I got my fucking eye on you. Yeah, I don't... Hmm. Like, I thought the whole armatization thing was like a shepherd's only kind of situation, but I guess I was wrong. We're becoming right, quite a family here. Yeah. Rose and Dezel are actually pretty cool. Well, Rose is cool. I don't know about this Dezel guy. Well, I don't know about Rose. But if Dezel heard that, I'm quite sure he would object. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Exploring these ruins like this gave me some perspective again. I gotten too worked up. Thank you, Miklio. You helped yourself. Don't thank me. Yeah, you didn't really do anything. She's fearless in many ways, yet Rose is terrified by the oddest things. What are we going to do about that? I'm envisioning my future right now. It's a lot more screamy than I'd really hoped for. Yeah, Rose is a bit of a fraidy cat. It's okay, she's still cool and badass. Well, I guess we're not wrapping up this journey anytime soon. Annoying! Still, it's your problem. You solve it. Oh, Edna. Oh, Edna. I should hate you, but I love you. Are you concerned about Dezel? Well, kind of. If his aim is to kill Hellions, I want to stop him somehow. If it does come to that, the Prime Lord has the authority to restrain a Sublord if he decides to act up. You can do that? Yes, but ideally I'd rather not have to. Yeah, restrain your subs, yeah. Between the Prime Lord and Sublord, I'd rather I've seen some videos that. about that. Hmm. If Dezel travels along with you, Saray, I'm certain that he'll find some other reason for living besides revenge. <laughs> he is a Seraph too, after all. What do you think? By the end of this game, Dezel's gonna be like, You guys are my best friends! What the... the fuck was that? Oh, hi! Hey, puppy! So you're finally awake. Is that the dog? Making those noise? <laughs> okay. Boy, howdy! You really helped me out there! My gratitude to the shepherd, and of course my seraph brethren. Alright, psychic old man dog. This is Lila, Edna, Dezel, Miklio, and the one sleeping over there is... Hi. That dog is talking! 
<laughs> Rose, you're awake. Okay. <laughs> I am called Oish. Though I may not look it, I'm as much a seraph as any of them. I'm getting a crash course, Mystic Secrets of the Seraphim. <laughs> nice to meet you. Likewise, I'm Rose. Rose, you're weird. Used to it. But, so, yeah, I think you're my favorite character in the party. And awaken? I don't know. She's having so much fun. No screaming and punching? Lame. Yeah, a little. Time. Let's head back. Hmm. This scene's not murdery enough for me. And there's more ruin left to explore. Well, I guess there's only one thing to do. Yep. Keep going. <laughs> We're not done with our little expedition yet. And Dazzle's so unhappy with this. No vacation from this vacation. Then let us proceed further in. Saray, are you ready? Thanks, everyone. All right, Oish. We're going to look around in the ruins a bit more. <laughs> you folks are a blast, I tell you. Be careful out there. See you later, mystical doggy. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm down with all this. Hey, Rose. Have a new discovery point: Dragon Corridor. All right, we got a skit. A lot of dragons. Are these statues of the eight serpents? No, it can't be. The numbers don't match. But it does look like relics of dragonism. Dragonism? To account, it might be logical to assume that the dragonist religion originates from that legend. I can understand the whole deity worship thing, I guess. But why the dragons? Beings of incomprehensible power. Symbols of awe-inspiring terror. Humans probably hoped that praise to such an entity would help them somehow. Oh, shoot. I've been all over, but I've never so much as seen a dragon's footprints. Oh. Though I bet that thunder we heard at Rayfolk is enough to inspire dragon legends. That's because that one was real. <laughs> sure. You can go there and verify for yourself. You would probably die, though. What? We, uh... We met a dragon at Rayfolk. It was, uh, Edna's brother. Wait, isn't Edna a seraph? Yep. A dragon is what you get when a seraph accumulates too much malevolence. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that plot point. Okay. You don't have to apologize. Something tells me that's going to be important the in the future. Is a stupid idea. Aw, him is all sad. So, you like investigating ruins too, huh? We have so much in common. Are you kidding? Not one bit. Oh. <laughs> Your antics are more than enough to keep me entertained. Shot down. There was any idea how we can get through here. Don't look at me. That's your job, buddy. I tried everything to get the thing to open, but it won't budge. I'm not your buddy, pal. I don't know, you pushed and prodded a bunch of stuff over that first door, can't do it again? If poison arrows come flying out the walls, I'm sure it'll mean you're doing something right. Man, Rose is getting better and better by the day. I think I nearly became a dragon, it's still inconceivable. I think some self-reflection is in order. <laughs> Alright, any skits here at the save point? Yeah! I wonder how the war turned out. Who knows? I remember the Roland's army falling apart. Immediately afterwards, Highland also lost their general and retreated. I'd say yeah. it was a draw. That was a short Were war. Too? I like to watch. I see. Oh boy. So my actions directly Dazzle, you're getting creepier. It's like what Lila said before. Would Alicia and Lucas be alright? Lucas would probably be okay. But as for Alicia, we'll just have to trust Highland. I guess so. Yeah, Alicia's way cooler and more badass than Lucas, so why... That's right. Stop being sexist, you guys. split up with Princess Alicia, right? Yeah. In Marland. Alicia has her own dreams to pursue, too. So what? Does that make me a replacement? Kinda. No. No. Sorry to ask that way. Don't worry about it. I decided to join you guys of my own volition. But don't expect me to fit into that princess role. We know that. Glad you understand and all. But that's a little rude of you, don't you think? Oh, Rose. So you and my partner, you are. Hmm. I'm kind of wanting to try controlling her for a bit. Yeah. Let's pair her with Dazzle. Yeah. Alright. Now, let's look at her arts. So I want, okay, I want you on auto. That's good. 
All right, what do we got here? Got four different arts, which is perfect. Raging Tide is water. Fang Blade is... I, I think that must be light. I'm not sure. Glimmer Dragon is also that. And Sleeping Dragon is... <laughs> yeah, it's... Oh, that's earth, I think. <laughs> it almost looked like fire, but I think it's earth. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's fire. Alright, it'll take a bit getting used to, but it looks like she's fairly similar to, uh... Saray. Teetling Essence. The Mystic Earth at least is a stunning sword dance. You gotta remember those Mystic Arts actually exist. Alright, we're gonna roll with Rose for a bit. Let's see if I've got any better equipment for her. Oh, she's like Dual Dagger. Cool. Uh, wait. There we go. <clears throat> I'm a little flipped around because I've been playing a lot of Xenoblade lately, and the A and B are reversed on Confirm and Cancel. Chaos Light Garment. Seems to be her best already. Oh, these are better. There we go. Oh, and titles. Okay. Uh, yeah, I like just having around the swords woman track. Also, I think I can fuse some of those boots together. Like, uh, yeah, Lila's got that ability. There we go. Perfect. Alright, awesome. I'm gonna be rolling with uh, Rose for a bit. So can I make her my, like, lead character? Who? Uh, maybe I can't. Maybe Saray has to be the lead. I suppose that would make sense, considering he's the one with all the powers and stuff. Yeah, I got that now, that's right. Awesome. So can I go in there? I can go in there, okay. There's a star back here, though. So I'm assuming that's where I... Oh, I see. Alright. Well, I'm gonna go to the star first, I guess. Oh, okay. So I need to go around. I'm gonna just save my game. Because why not? I feel like this game's been picking up these last few episodes uh, quite a bit. I'm... Really starting to enjoy it. Um, I was a bit down on it for a while, like, not that I disliked it, just it felt a little lacking in some respects. There we go, that's pretty cool. I wonder, we still haven't got the ability to move those boulders that have been blocking certain paths pretty much since the start of the game. So I'm curious to see so what's cool. up with that. Yes, yeah, so I've got... I guess I've got Fire and Wind as my elemental abilities right now in the field. Oh. Alright. Weak against Wind. I don't have Wind. Or do I? Ha! I really like Rose's uh, armatized forms. She looks fucking awesome. Yeah. Those are battle talents. Twin daggers and confounds her enemies with rapid attacks. The distinguishing characteristic is her ability to equip dual weapons, which itself will affect your fusion planning. I guess, yeah. I mean, true enough, I need at least two copies of everything. Her hidden arts will let you set traps and capitalize on traps and aerial combos. Interesting. Alright. Cool. I'm down with trying her out for a while. It's too bad Tyler's no longer with me, because we finally have a character I think you could maybe sink your teeth into a little better. Uh, okay. So these guys are weak against the light or whatever. I'm just going to take a peek at her arts one more time. Yeah, so left or right are my elements for that for my martial arts. And also her regular combo, okay, without pressing any directions. 
Oh boy, I cannot see what's going on. All right. Yeah, she seems pretty much just as capable as Sarai. It's cool now, though. Two characters that can arm ties should make for more interesting fights. Talon, stealthy feet. Okay. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I like that a lot. I can avoid some of these random battles. So if, I ever, if I ever feel under level, I can always grind off off camera. So, yeah, let's keep that on. Saray, look around you. Ooh, burning dash. All right, let's see if that's better for what Rose has right now. Oh, can't equip it, I guess. That's interesting. Oop. Keep pressing the wrong buttons here. Um. Okay, that must be a male-only uh, equipment, I guess. Ooh, ooh, boy, that seems way better. A better attack, I guess. Lower, I think, focus is? Alright. Maybe I should just fuse this with... Actually, no. I'm going to upgrade what Mikleo's got going on here. Oops, I already read that. Sorry. Alright. Let's head out. Let's roll out. Or... Fuck, I'm already not paying attention. Okay, treasure chest. Alright. And then... Anything that way? I see. Alright. Hey, snake. Whoosh! Ah, <laughs> I was hoping that'd be some sort of attack. Alright, you guys are weak to wind. You guys are not weak to wind. Alright. So yeah, let's take out these guys with Rose. Okay. Second combo. Figuring out what arts can combo well into other arts is kind of uh, something I'm always trying to figure out. Do you think a day when Seraphim and humans can coexist will come? Nah. But what if they could? They still can't hear us. Well, what if they could see and hear us too? We have different values. Oh, right. That's a good point. This. <laughs> Okay. Wind stepping. Oh yeah, yeah, and I looked this up off camera, yeah, so that's um Dezel's talent. Basically lets me speed up after winning a fight for a bit. Help me get away from enemies. Whoa, what the fuck is that? Hi! What are you against? Fire? Do I even have any yeah, I do have something that's fire, right? At least one of my martial arts? There we go. Ooh, kinda. Not great, though. What if I just swap to Lila? Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. I guess I've committed to this now. Well, that was easy. Luring. This talent in areas where enemies are encountered. Yeah, this is another one of Dezel's, so you can say like, hey, I want to fight more of this enemy, and then he'll make it so more of that enemy shows up. It's actually kind of cool. Fresh your plates. Alright, so I want to go up here. Hi. Now I've got one. Alright. Wait. Oh, he took Lila back. What a jerk. I don't know, wind form seems good enough anyway against these guys. They're not weak against wind, but it still fucks them up. Oh yeah. You're so cool, Rose. I like you. So much. 
Why aren't you the protagonist? And Saray is not bad, I just... I don't know. He's kind of generic. Whereas Rose is kind of funny. Yeah, I actually probably should get a decent amount of fights in here. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep armatizing. I feel like I don't armatize enough. Oh, here we go. Plus it gets me all this grade. Look at all the grade I'm getting. Holy shit. Alright. Uh, we are going this way. Anything there? Oh yeah, wow, that movement speed increase is something. Oh, there we go. I think I found something. Yeah. Held off takes advantage of the wars to engage in venomization, producing ever stronger health. So is that what he ended up doing to the soldiers? Looks like. Man, Heldoff has an awesome design. Like, he fucking rules. I love him. Oh, hey, it's cool little imp man. Oh, those are like lizard folk. Okay, so he's been doing this for a while. I'm guessing he likes war for some reason. He's into it. He's into that shit. Whoa, okay. Alright. Some lady. Alright. Whoa, it's a spider lady. Alright. Or... I don't even know if that was a lady. But it was some sort of spider dude. Or spider lady. Or something. Okay, so... This guy definitely yeah, seems... It like a monster. It's the Earth in Historia. It records events from the past. Is this a record of wars throughout the world? It's so that guy... Heldolf. He's using those wars as crucibles to breed more malevolence. Interesting. He Hellions against each other in order to increase their strength and ferocity. Disgusting. His heart is surely sunk in the depths of darkness. That's the truth of the Lord of Calamity. I want to know more about this guy, because he seems kind of neat. Oop, dangerous encounter. Guess I better just armatize then. <laughs> I can't see what's going on, and I don't even care, because I'm just mashing the B button. Hey, even Saray knows what's up. He's joining me in the fun. Are these guys resistant to wind? Oh, now they're weak against it. Okay. Just got lots of HP, I guess. Oh yeah, I've been playing a shitload of Xenoblade the last, like, week or so. That game's real good. Although it's also really frustrated in some ways in how it's designed. It's easiest to notice the dimmer stars when they shine, they say. Oh, snap. It's like, it's weird. A lot of the quests are, like, MMO design. Like, go find this many items or kill these enemies. But it won't tell you, like, where to find the enemies or the items. It'll just give you, like, a continent. Instead of something like, wow, we're like, they'll be like, okay, so here's, like, the actual area where you'll find these things, or, or find these enemies to kill, or whatever. So you end up just, like, having to look everything up online, which I think kind of sucks. But other than that, like, really fun game, like, really awesome open world. Something I definitely recommend to anyone who likes, like, JRPGs and has a, a Wii U. Which, I know not a lot of people have a Wii U, but... Yeah, it's too bad. Like, the Wii U is a good little system, it's just... There's like... Two to four games per year that come out for it that are worth playing, and that's about it. And I understand if that's not enough to draw people in, because... It's not a lot! 
I find that the games that are good on it are good enough to be worth it, but I can absolutely understand, like, if you can only afford one console, like, you might want the ones that you can play more game, good games on. Especially if you don't have a good gaming PC, like... I have everything and a good gaming PC, but I'm, like, fortunate, like... I know that that's not going to be the same situation everyone can be in. So, like, Nintendo's kind of caught in a rough place right now, where... It doesn't necessarily make sense to just try and be just like the Xbox and PlayStation. And, like, I don't know if the market's big enough for three consoles that are basically trying to do the same thing. But at the same time, like, just being its own in its own little corner, like Nintendo Corner, doesn't seem to be working either, so... I don't know. I'm curious to see what this NX is going to turn out to be like. Yeah, I'm just going to keep rheumatizing my way through these fights. Because it gets me all that sweet, sweet grade. You were quite strong. But we're no pushovers either. Hmm. Oh, I got an achievement. For something. I couldn't read it because the text was so damn small. And I forgot which way I was going again. Oh, monolith. monolith. Three types of arts. Let's look at hidden arts. Okay, I feel like we've been told all of this already multiple times. Yeah, I, I don't know. It didn't seem like it was new information. Uh, what do we got over here? Oh, I see you. Well, now I gotta wait. Alright, come on. Fill up. Okay, this is kind of agonizing. I'm not sure why they put the time limit on there. I guess so you can't just zoom around the battlefield, but... I don't know, I feel like it wouldn't actually be that much faster moving around like that anyway, so... I don't know, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> not sure what happened there, but fine, it's fine. Uh, I forgot these things are faster than me. Alright, armor ties! Yeah, hopefully, like, like I said, this game's definitely starting to warm up to me now. Or, I guess I'm starting to warm up to this game. Um, hopefully that continues. Like, hopefully it just keeps getting better. Uh, at, at first it was kind of disappointing, but... Yeah, it's, it's pretty okay now. And we've got our full party, and we've got two people who can armatize, and like, it feels like that almost tutorial period, I don't know if that's the right way to put it, but that starter period is like finally over. It feels like we got our villain. Okay, fuck Ooh, off. That's... Life bottle? Always good to have. Those are actually kind of expensive, too, so. so can, am I trying to just... Okay, I'm not trying to leave. But I might as well go up to this exit. I, I'm i hoping that, uh, I think Berseria is the next one to come out. I'm hoping that that turns out okay. Uh, it's cool to see they're doing a female protagonist, although I think her design is, like, awful. Um, uh, not even that awful, it's like... It's a design that really could be cool with, like, just a few tweaks, but... And I, I guess you could say that, like, uh, Exilia had a female protagonist, like, it, it split between Mila and Jude. But Berseria, I think, is the first one with just a straight-up, like, yo, the, the single main character is a girl, which is pretty cool. I always like seeing that more in games. Um, I feel like things are slowly getting better for representation of women in games now, like, there's... More games coming out with women in lead roles. I you, Maybe I'll try and not armatize this time just to build up some blast gauge. Oh. Or I could just die and auto armatize because I got cornered and wasn't paying attention to my health. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I turned the auto armatization skill back on 
uh, off camera. Mostly because I just had the points to spare to do it. And I figure, like, when I'm recording while playing, sometimes it is harder to pay attention to things. Since I'm trying to talk and do this at the same time, so having that kind of get out of jail free card is nice, even if sometimes it fucked me over. Yeah, like, there was, the, there was those fights where it was weird, where it was like the computer would take control if I auto armatized. And I'm not sure what was up with that. It was really weird. Alright, I think this is basically it. Whoosh. So have I opened the way now? Oh yeah, it looks like it. Hey, doggy. Got any more skits waiting for me? Actually, I could probably save too, I guess. No skits. Uh, you know, this is usually the time I'd end the episode, but I'm gonna I'm gonna head forward and see what what lies ahead here. We'll make this a longer one. Oh, now I gotta wait. Is that just a treasure chest up there? Oh no, there's a door too. All right. Or oh, is it being nice to me and making me not wait? That's nice. I even have the key. Nearby. Oh, the silver key. Shit. Um, let's go back and get that uh, silver treasure chest that took the exit thing. I just want to do that now because otherwise I'll forget. Uh, yeah, uh, this way. And I want to say it was this way. Yeah, and was there another treasure chest I couldn't open in here as well? Or am I imagining that? I think I'm just imagining that. Yeah, okay. Let's go see what's in that silver chest! I'm kind of excited. I finally got this fucking key. The game's been taunting me with those silver chests pretty much since a couple hours in. What the fuck is that? I hadn't seen that enemy before. So yeah, curious, you know? Anyone who's watching, like, I know I've at least got a few loyal people who seem to be tuning in every episode, like, what's your favorite Tales game? Uh, I'm curious to see kind of what the tastes of, uh, the fan base are. You're there, aren't you? Hey, here's a little Norman. Block. I mean, yes, it's gonna be a defense skill. Um, so why not put that on some defensive, uh, plus 73, 71, 71, 52. Sure, let's put that in yours. Yeah, I'm curious, like, uh, like my favorite Tales things. game is... Hmm. That's tough, actually. I've played maybe about half of them. Um, but I've only actually beat a few of them. Um, favorite one I've played but haven't beat yet is probably, uh, Vesperia. Um... Tyler and I are actually planning on playing that together someday. Uh, we started, oh, like, last year and never got around to finishing it. Uh, at one point, it was probably something that would have been on the channel, but I'm not sure that'll happen anymore, so we might do it in our free time. Um, if we get the chance. Tyler's obviously been busy since he's not on the channel anymore. Uh, yeah, Exilia? I really liked Exilia. I never got the chance to finish up with Exilia 2. But what I played of it, I was really enjoying as well. Um, Tales of Hearts R on the Vita is also quite good. Um, I was pretty surprised. I was kind of expecting it to be kind of a lesser game in the series, just because it's on, like, mobile, and felt kind of forgettable. Like, barely anyone's going to play that. But, uh... What the fuck is that? Alright. You are weak to light and earth. Okay, that earth art seems a little weird. Okay, that's a trap. Alright. Oh, and it sends the guy up into the air. Okay. Oh, wow, I'm actually getting super hurt right now. Uh. Okay, I'm trying to switch partners. It's not letting me. 
Okay, when I'm... This is kind of a bummer. When I switch partners, it's forcing me to... It's switching them for Saray instead of for Rose. Which kind of completely eliminates the point of... Uh, having the ability to switch. So that's a bummer. Um, I guess I'll keep Dazzle with me. Who also really needs to heal. Oh, I got a new battle action. Okay, what do I got? Longer te step. Take bigger steps. Hmm, weird. I guess just move faster? I don't know. Now let's heal Dezel. Let's throw him a... Throw him an apple gel, anyway. Uh, maybe I should switch partners for now. Uh, Lila, come join the party. And well, yeah, what other Tales games? I played um, Symphonia, and that was really good. Uh, we played Tales, Tales of Destiny on the channel uh, earlier this year. Uh, Tyler was the one behind the controls, but I watched him play, and I'm not sure how I felt about that one. It was it was okay. It was alright. Other than that, oh yeah, Abyss. Yeah, I played some of Tales of the Abyss, and that seemed really good. Oh man, I, there's so many Tales games I want to actually beat. Um, Anyway, though, that's probably gone long enough. So next time on Cruise Control, we'll see what's at the end of these ruins. And yeah, let me know what your favorite Tales game is in the comments. I'm interested to know. In any case, I'll see you guys in a couple days. Thanks for watching.